Hello guys, welcome and welcome to Media Nursing Academy, one of the leading academy in training nurses in the nursing competitive exam as well as IELTS, NCLEX and OIT training. Today in this video we are going to discuss in detail about the vacancy announcement which is made by Norset, made in Norset 5 by AIMS New Delhi. So this vacancy announcement it is announced on 5-8-2023 that is today they have announced the Norset 5 vacancies. So some changes they have made here no need to panic about the changes whatever they have made because many students are getting panic because of their announcement some changes they have made in the Norset 5 and many are getting worried about that please don't get worried about that please develop your confidence okay so if you are already in preparation and your confident level if you have to motivate it okay so if these two things is there for you means definitely you can overcome these things okay see previously they have conducted only one exam now they are dividing the one exam into two categories that's all so make sure that you are clearing the preliminary as well as main that's it okay so let's see in detail about the vacancy announcement so the first one is essential qualification and if you are new to our channel please subscribe the channel and if you like this video please like it share it subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon so here the first thing is essential qualification as you all know the regular thing only that is bsc nursing or post basic bsc nursing or the diploma that is gnm all these category are coming under the essential qualification for example bsc nursing or post basic bsc nursing means after completing BSc Nursing and Post Basic BSc Nursing, you supposed to register yourself in State Nursing Council or Central uh, Indian Nursing Council. After that, you supposed to have the RN RM number. Okay, then you are eligible for appearing this examination. Once again, I'm repeating BSc Nursing or Post Basic BSc Nursing. After completing your course, you supposed to register yourself in State Nursing Council or Indian Nursing Council, and you should have valid RN RM number. That's all. And the next one is. GNM otherwise diploma diploma in nursing for diploma in nursing here a small changes is there that is after completing your GNM you should have the two years of experience after completing GNM you supposed to register yourself in state nursing council and Indian nursing council okay and then you supposed to have what two years of experience in minimum 50 bedded hospital okay after getting your RN RM certificate you should have the two years of experience in minimum 50 bedded hospital please underline this word after getting RN RM number you should have the two years of experience in minimum 50 bedded hospital okay so then only you are eligible so these are all the essential eligibility criteria so next to that age see as usual minimum 18 years maximum 30 years they have allotted for unreserved categories and for reserved categories obviously their age relaxation is applicable we will be discussing that later and the next one is application fees for general or OBC 3000 rupees they are charging for SC, ST and economically weaker session 2400 rupees they are charging and for physically challenged person no need to pay any fees okay and for the person who is coming under SC, ST once they appear the examination their money will be refunded back okay it is only for SCST candidate not for economically weaker section also see now this online CBT examination is going to be held in two categories so in how it is going to be there see online CBT in two stages they are going to conduct the examination the first stage it is called as preliminary and second stage it is called as mains exam those who clearing the preliminary exam they can go for main exams okay then once you clear the main exam your merit list will be coming out that is those who were selected in the main exam they will be getting the job okay so preliminary and main exam two exam you are going to come across in Norset 5 okay fine the date of preliminary examination is 17 September 2023 it is on Sunday and for main exam the date is 7 October 2023 that is on Saturday so please remember these two days 17 September Sunday 7th October Saturday in these two days you are going to face the examination main as well as preliminary examination 
okay and very important point is the online application you supposed to fill the online application form the date for filling the online application form is clearly mentioned here that is 5 8 2023 to 25 8 2023 up to 5 pm okay so make sure you are clearly filling the online application by giving a valid email id and valid phone number again and again every time in every video i used to insist this only don't give your brothers or your fathers or your sisters email id or phone number open the laptop open the desktop and you do the online application don't do anything in the mobile phone don't fill the online application in the mobile phone use the laptop or use the uh, desktop and fill the online application form properly by reading the general instructions okay don't do any mistakes even though if you are making some mistakes then they are giving some dates for correcting the mistakes that is 26 8 2023 to 28 8 2023 5 pm in between these two days in these days you can do the corrections okay guys but make sure you are not making any mistakes okay other important point or for uh, yes age relaxation for sc st candidates five years of age relaxation they are giving see you know about the unreserved category for unreserved category the maximum age limit is 30 only for sc st candidate five years of age relaxation for obc candidate three years of age relaxation for physically challenged unreserved people unreserved you are 10 years of age relaxation physically challenged obc 13 years of age relaxation physically challenged sc st 15 years age relaxation for ex service person 5 years of age relaxation they are giving okay fine so according to this you can prepare your certificates and those who are serving in the central government continuously for 3 years continuously for how many years continuously for 3 years they are getting 5 years of age relaxation this is for your category and for central government employee who is coming under OBC who continuously serving for 3 years they are getting 5 years of age relaxation for SCST central government employees again who served continuously for 3 years they will be getting 10 years of age relaxation ok this is for central government employees central government employees in the sense those who are working in Sabdajang, RML, Lady Arding, Kalavati and Sri Chitra hospital only these five central government hospitals are there in India. All aims are coming under autonomous. Okay, fine. So those who are working in these areas, they are eligible for this central government privileges. Okay, and next one is OBC certificate. See, OBC certificate, you should get the OBC certificate. Keep it ready. And you should check the validity of the OBC certificate. One OBC certificate is valid for one financial year. For example, if you are getting OBC certificate now means, well, what is the date today? 5. So 5th August 2023, you are getting the OBC certificate means this certificate is valid till next year March 30. Till March 30, this OBC certificate is valid. Next year March 30, that is March 30, 2024. So, one financial year means from April 2023 to March 2024. That is one financial year. So, get the OBC certificate and keep it ready. Okay. Next. And if you are coming under economically weaker session, so please get the o uh, economically weaker session certificate of the year 2022-2023. Okay, so your income certificate and asset certificate, these two certificate you supposed to keep ready. Okay, it these two certificate should belongs to 2022 to 2023. Other important thing is, those who are working in central government hospital, please make sure you are having the no objection certificate. Okay, fine. And examination pattern, as I mentioned already, pattern and scheme of examination, it is going to be there in two stages, stage 1 and stage 2, that is Norset preliminary and Norset main. See, once you 
qualified in the preliminary examination only you can attend the main examination you supposed to pass the preliminary examination or qualify in the preliminary examination then only you can go for the main examination okay fine so let's see the scorings and timings see the total duration of the examination is going to be 90 minutes and 100 mcq is going to be there in this 100 mcq 20 mcq general knowledge and aptitude question and 80 mcq from the nursing subject okay and definitely negative markings are there that is 1 by 3 mark is negative okay 1 by 3 marks for each wrong answers negative markings are present here also okay and the qualifying percentage for unreserved category is 50 percentage for unreserved 45 percentage for obc and 40 percentage for scst and other important point is once you qualify the preliminary examination you can go to the main examination so in the main examination again the time duration is going to be there for 90 minutes in this also 100 mcqs will be there here no general knowledge no aptitude only nursing subject that is scenario based nursing question practice practical oriented scenario based nursing questions they are going to ask here okay so here also one by three marks for each wrong answer is present and for unreserved category 50 percentage marks you supposed to score and for obc 45 for scst 40 okay and the rest of the things are as usual and you can fill the online application form by clicking this website that is www.amsexams.ac.in okay before filling the online application form please read the general instruction whatever they have mentioned okay don't make any mistakes okay so here they also mentioned about the documents what you supposed to keep before that let's see the number of uh, aims which is going to be participate in this north set 5 so totally 8 18 aims 1 8 18 aims are participating that is aims batinda bhopal bhuneshwar bibinagar bilaspur diogar gorakhpur jodhpur kalyani mangalagiri nagpur new delhi patna rebeli raipur rajkot rishikesh and vijaypur so totally 18 aims are participating in this north set 5 vacancies okay fine and other important points are let's discuss only the important points here so here uh, you can see if you have any queries while filling the online application form there is a page called as rise a query there is an option called as rise a query so if you have any doubt if you have any queries you can type your query in that rise a query option and you can send it to the concerned person okay aims concern aims okay so the toll free number what they have given here for contacting them is 1-800-117898 monday to friday 10 a.m to 5 p.m and saturday 10 a.m to 1 p.m okay fine so this is all about the vacancy announcement and keep all the documents ready your essential qualifications that is your degree uh, date of birth certificate otherwise 10 certificate which is mentioning the date of birth noc certificate if you are working in a central government and obc certificate if you belongs to obc or scst or economically weaker session whatever you belongs to please keep those certificate ready all the mock sheets experience certificate as per they have mentioned and your photography with background white background okay latest photography should be there and your term impressions and signature everything keep it ready before filling the online application form guys and if you have any doubts anywhere related to this vacancy announcement you can drop your message in the chat box and if you like this video please like it share it subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon thank you for watching